I don't have games on my phone anymore. The only game I have on my phone is Solitaire. That's a good one, old man. The only one I have on my on my phone is the Impossible game. No, not the Impossible quiz. Yes, people get that confused sometimes. Oh, you used up my energy tank. I was saving that for Sigma. Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. Yeah. Did he say? Did he say Smegma? No, he no. didn't say. I didn't say Smegma. I'm like you said, Smegma. Yo, does that dude have Smegma over there? Smegma. Yo. Does that dude have Smegma? Paul. Yeah, you, you can see it poking out of his hey. shoulders, actually. <laughs> Look at all that Smegma. But you guys have never heard of Smegma, man. Can I offer you, uh, some smegma? No. He roll- he fires his smegma cannon by rolling back the- rolling back the tip? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you see, uh, fucking Starbucks has come out with a new flavor. It's called, uh, smegma? Jesus Christ, Ew. man. Ew. <laughs> Beggar man. Smegma man. <laughs> What Smegma the fuck? <laughs> Wait, no, no, we have to expound on Smegma Man. What does Super he do? Coming what does, robot. What is his power? Okay, okay. Smegma, Smegma Man. Smegma Man Smegma Man is basically like Mega Man, except he doesn't get any power-ups, he just fires Smegma. And he only fires by rolling back the tip. Super yeah. coming robot. Shut up. Smegma Man. <laughs> Riley, am I gonna have to server mute you? <laughs> no, <laughs> please, no! This species was a fucking mistake. <laughs> uh, every oh, single on. day. I fucking shot him. That was horse shit. You're gonna be shitting like a horse in a second. Yo, yeah, is really. he. Yo, is Mega Man fighting a walrus robot? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, can we get a mad racist Asian poggers in the chat? <laughs> what oh, the fuck? Wow. The original Poggers guy. Yeah, I heard. They they got rid of the original Poggers because the dude behind the face was problematic or some shit like that. Like, yeah, he was one of the stupidest fucking things. Like, literally, <laughs> I think that's so goddamn retarded. It's a fucking emote on Twitch, alright? It's, it's not a, giving me, him any fucking power. It's an E, bro. That, that is honestly just one of the dumbest fucking decisions, and I think it's really stupid that all these really dumb knee-jerk reactions are becoming the right quote-unquote thing to do, you know what I mean? But they did yeah. replace him with a badass picture of a yelling Komodo dragon, which is arguably ten times more poggers. Honestly, okay, I yeah. I haven't seen the Komodo dragon one, I've seen the other ones they've tried to replace him with, and they were dog water. But if the Komodo dragon one is good, I will, I will dictate this as an acceptable uh, loss. The, yeah, the Komodo Dragon is now the new official Pog Champ emote. It's a Somebody... screen. Oh, yeah. uh, Vlad. Hmm. Uh, so as we were talking about before, uh, why would you subject yourself to to fucking Umbrella Corps? Because I have a I have a friend uh, who literally goes out of his way to buy anything and everything Capcom, like literally anything and everything Capcom. So I figured, hey, he's got it, why don't I play it? Because I was on a mission at the time. I was on the mission at the time to do two things. I was going to play through every single Resident Evil game, and I was going to play through every single Naruto Ninja Storm game from the original Naruto uh, Ninja Storm series on the PlayStation 2 and GameCube to the Naruto Shippuden games, mm. which I did. That's how I learned how Naruto Shippuden ended. I refused. You mean, mean Boruto's dad, Shippuden? Yep. Boruto's dad is shipping out of an Amazon warehouse. Uh. God. Have I talked about how much I hate Boruto? What? Well, it seems to be the general consensus is that everybody fucking hates Boruto. It's not- yeah. I don't hate it, I just find it lackluster. I just think it's stupid that the little fucker can activate a Byakugan technique that even the fucking moon space people decreed was impossible. And but he activated he that- believed. 
He activated that shit when he was like eight years old. He believed. He, he didn't believe hard enough, clearly. <laughs> Isn't he like 12? God, he's I 12 now in the main series, and he activated that ability when he, was, when he was eight. It's like how his little sister was strong enough at like four years old to knock out Naruto with a single punch. Now, granted, he wasn't prepared, but the fact that she was able to knock out Naruto in any capacity is still four horseshit. Four years old, yeah. Is still horseshit, and now the fucking nine-tailed fox is afraid of her, like actually terrified. Yeah. I love anime. Only anime can pull off some shit like that. Get that little demon bitch away from me, Naruto. That's my <laughs> daughter. I know what I said. <laughs> I may be an evil-tailed beast, but holy shit! <laughs> uh, Karama. It's the best. Evil, evil recognizes evil. And honestly, children are fucking evil. Oh, this. Guy. I love the. I love how the whole thing started. Was Boruto accidentally ripped her favorite stuffed animal, and she activated Byakugan and was running around the house trying to punch him. Where think about this: if she was able to knock out her father with that punch, if she punched her brother, he would have been fucking dead. I remember? He'd been fucking vaporized immediately. <laughs> Remember when the biggest complaint about Naruto was the fucking how long the fucking war arc was in Shippuden? Yep. But do you know what redeemed that? What? It being really what? fucking cool. Mike Guy beating the shit out of Maru Uchiha with oh, his bare legendary <laughs> moment. Legendary yep. moment. When Madara, uh, the closest thing you could get to a god, literally screamed, You're the strongest person I've ever fought! Holy shit! Well, no, he's Almost the strongest taijutsu ta ta user he's ever fought. Still, the fact that he was able to get through everything that Madara had and almost kill him, that basically qualifies him for strongest status. Yeah. Kakashi even admitted he's way stronger than I am. Dad, you were right. <laughs> you were right. This little pissant who did a bunch of push-ups and sit-ups. <laughs> nearly one shot a god with a, a kick and ran so fast he bended space time yep in 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 conclusion uh mike guy is the most badass anime character and i will hear no other arguments remember when yeah. they first showed off madara against the fucking army yep he just he cleaned through them like butter yes <laughs> ow how are you how are wow, we supposed like to beat this guy he nullifies all Genjutsu and Ninjutsu. Fucking might guy. My time has come! Okay. I kick really hard that I bend space. Mm. That ability, that staff gonna do a whole lot of nothing whenever I'm bending space time. <laughs> I'll save the bag later. Theoretical physics doesn't matter in this fucking fight. <laughs> Theoretically, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Conservation of energy? The fuck that? What do you guys think of the whole Kaguya uh, twist that thing? That means if I move fast enough, you can't see my oh, energy. Shit. God damn it. I thought, Kaguya, I thought Kaguya was dumb and stupid, honestly. Yeah. Then, then again, I thought the whole, like, the fact that they started the Madara vs. Guy fight in episode, like, 420, and it, like, took five episodes of those two moon men fucking waxing poetic yeah. about how Naruto and Sasuke were reincarnations of her children to get back to the fucking cool shit was bullshit in and of itself. Oh god, the filler arcs and the fucking war arc were, like, such bullshit. I, like, they didn't even need to keep making more filler arcs. The, the, the manga had ended, like, two or three years prior. You, you, you have all the material. You don't need to, you don't need to stretch it out more with bullshit. They, they took a step forward. Uh... <laughs> I, I remember when everybody went on to the Genjutsu and like, and they started doing all these filler episodes related to all the dreams that people were having under the Genjutsu and I was just like, Yep. For fuck's sakes, man. For fuck's sakes. So Sakura marries Sasuke. Ah, oh, he's a really great man. Nearly fucking genocided the whole damn world. Punched her in the gut and called her a useless bitch. <laughs> 
And she said, "Oh yeah, my ovaries are ready for that, man." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To the point where even her own fucking daughter went, "There's no way you're my mom." Wow. Oh, Why does Vlad, you've this seen this video, right? So hard? Which one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's the biggest thought ever!